And starting tomorrow, several central Indiana school districts will be requiring masks regardless of vaccination status. It comes as some have already begun to see increased cases of coronavirus among students. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Melissa Crash. CBS 4's Courtney Spinelli shares the message from one superintendent as the new school year is already underway and breaks down what you need to know if you're a parent. Last year was tough and we had hoped this year would be as close to pre COVID times for our students and staff as possible. However, this week, Hamilton Southeastern schools will join other central Indiana school districts in requiring masks indoors for everyone. Since classes began less than two weeks ago, Superintendent Dr. Yvonne Stokes says they've tracked 80 positive cases among students. More than 500 students have been notified as being a close contact. All K through 12 students and staff will be required to wear masks regardless of vaccination status. Carmel Clay Schools and Lawrence Township Schools students, staff and visitors will be required to also do the same. I know this will not make everyone happy, but it is my goal to protect our students and staff and keep our schools open and running. Stokes says this change also consists of CDC options suggested for reducing the length of quarantine for unvaccinated students and staff. Those include 10 day quarantine with return to school on day 11 or a seven day quarantine with the return to school on day eight if a negative PCR COVID test was obtained on day five, six or seven. Others returning to mask mandates starting Monday are Washington Township, Pike and Noblesville schools. That announcement after more than 100 students in Noblesville were quarantined. While Indiana has no statewide mask mandate, the districts making these changes have said the data is driving the decisions. Our schools are not immune to this trend. Among the next to make the switch could be Avon schools after a letter sent to parents Sunday showed record breaking cases in their elementary schools last week. Over the first two and a half weeks, more than 80 students have tested positive. Officials say almost 800 have already been quarantined. Reporting for CBS 4 News, I'm Courtney Spinelli. And the Avon School Board will meet Wednesday at 7 p.m. to make a decision on masks. The meeting is open to the public, but no public comment will be allowed at that meeting.